the guy is just such a hard worker. Yeah. I just think he's such a likable guy because he has such a strong work ethic that yeah. maybe they left him alone. Like they well, like know, people just like him because he's such a hard worker. I mean, what what he did to prepare for John Wick. Yeah. He like does like major training. Yeah, I've for heard John, for the John Wick movies, which are my favorite. I love those fucking movies, man. But I'll tell you something. The other thing about him, what I've heard from other people in the biz who I know, they said that they've seen him at certain events, you know, certain informal events. And they've said he's a really great person, but he's painfully shy off camera. And when he's not doing press, he's, he's super, super shy. Yeah, I could see that. I could and see that. So that's um, often, you know, that kind of shyness. And I've always battled with that in my life. It's a lot of times, especially if somebody's an artist or an actor, or, sure, it's undue sensitivity. Yes. You're absolutely. just so sensitive yeah. that it's caused you to draw back in your life. Of course. Of and course. that's been my issue. Yeah. Um, I understand that completely. People yeah. say, oh, it's lack of confidence. People no, would say to me, no, no it's, it's undue sensitivity. Well, hyper, hyper, I, I, hyper I, I don't think that the average person really understands what it is to be that sensitive when yeah. you're that kind of an artist. Yeah. And some of us are, it's just our yeah. nature. Yeah. You know, exactly. I know you're that way. Yeah. Um, we see the world through art. Yes. And it's just because of our sensitivity. Like I'll give you an example. I was in Hollywood and the light, the way the light was hitting this adjacent building against yeah. the blue sky. I said to my friend, I said, look at that. Yeah. And to him, it did. It didn't affect him like that. In that way. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. For me, it was just like, and that's, what's drawn me to photography because sure. when I see things, I, I want to capture it. Right. I, right. I want to make art out of it because like I it's it's a way of expressing my awe yeah of the colors of the shapes because right. we li we live the world we live our lives through art. And yeah. it doesn't matter like like for me it's like if I stop doing music I do this I'll edit right. video or I'll take right. pictures or there's always some artistic ex expression going through me in some way is because yeah. we live our lives through art and that's just just the way that but yeah. what i'm saying is the point is the amount of sensitivity that it takes to have that temperament yeah a lot of times it can be an obstacle in, in like the social realm sure because you're just so sensitive and there's so many fucking motherfuckers out there and you just feel all that. Absolutely. And so it just causes you to kind of recoil. Yep. And you sort Absolutely. of never quite get over that. Absolutely. Well, it's also that you're you're basically what it is. You're so highly sensitive. You're so attuned that you're like an exposed nerve. Every, yeah. Everything everything just register. Everything is you feel things and you see it's like everybody else is observing and feeling like, like our portal, like the biggest organ we have is our skin. The second biggest window is our eyes, right? So if we feel that, and if you feel people's aura, you feel their energy, you know, you, you can see, you see these things. And if you're so finely attuned to that, anything that's not that that disrupts that vibration and that stream anything that disrupts it is unbearable you know and you get you get those parts where it just goes out it it hits your force field like if you come up with somebody with low vibration or consciousness and you deal with that like you have to recoil from them somebody who's who's not, who's living basically at the level of consciousness of a of a rock you know like who who has no almost no consciousness, you know, like that. Yeah, and you know uh, what we're what we're being slammed up against now is the level of discernment of the average person. It's just oh, horrific, it, man. It, it's beyond. 
It's beyond awful. It's it's like at a level of sheer horror. Okay, the that the fact that these people have no discernment and they're so binary. But that's you know remind me about next week about the binary aspect because I have there's something that I heard about NLP and this that I want to bring up, but it's too much where I, I have to get going, but I wanted to, uh, I wanted to bring that point up, you know, but yeah, it's, it's absolutely the level of discern. Well, you see this, that people basically are at such a low consciousness because it's number one, how they've been brainwashed from the time they've been pushed out of their mother's vaginas. Yeah. We, so, we've all, dealt with that we've all dealt with that but some of us have surmounted it some of us have not right but there's not only that but it's the level of what we're what's attacking us it's a full-on assault from the food the water the air to what's being transmitted on us through the through the waves through these these devices through the communication through all this stuff that that whole thing has it it's it's wreaked havoc on humanity so really the thing, so the thing is and, 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 and if you're the kind of person which just goes with that flow and believes that the doctors tell you it's just heredity it is another psyop this this her, her, oh, yeah. her, heredity yeah. it, it, what it is is you 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 relinquish any responsibility what is something i could do it's my parents right you know exactly. you're like it's like this victim mentality absolutely absolutely man you got it. And it's so diabolical. 